for this problem, we want to find the rate at which the distance between two people walking is changing. Now, in order to draw this correctly, I think it's better to figure out the distances that they have traveled after 15 minutes so that we know what side of the triangle to draw where. So, um, if I let person P, we'll call the first one person P, if I have him be the one or she being the one that is moving to the east, this is going to be DP, DT is six miles an hour. Now, <coughs> after 15 minutes, well, we can't do miles an hour and minutes. So 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. So if I'm going 16 miles per hour and I travel for a quarter of an hour, so times 0 0.25 hours, I have gone uh, 1.5 miles. And so I'm going to make this length after 15 minutes, the east leg of this, here's person one, we're calling P, this is 1.5 miles. That's how far person one has gone in 15 minutes. Now, if I do the same for um, somebody moving in this direction, northeast, um, we'll call that person Q is moving four miles an hour. And if I multiply that, if that person moves for 15 minutes or 0 0.25 hours, then person Q has actually gone just one mile. That makes sense. They haven't been walking as fast. So that means that this leg is shorter. So let's put this leg right here and Q here after 15 minutes. This leg is one mile long and person Q is hanging out at the end of this line. Now, the distance between them, remember we always do perpendicular one side has to be perpendicular. So this is the distance between them, which we're going to call D. And um, because this is a right angle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem, which says that this is the hypotenuse, right? So that means we're going to have the Q squared plus the distance between them squared equals the hypotenuse squared. And if we put numbers in there, then Q squared, this is 1 squared, and D squared, we don't know yet, and P squared is 1.5 squared, which is 2.25. Is that right? Oh, it's down here. Yes, 2.25. And then we subtract one from both sides. So we get that the distance squared that between these two people is 1.25. And then we take the square root of that and get that D is the square root of 1.25, which is an approximation, but you can have it exact because it is uh, two times the square, wait, where am I? It is the square root of five over two miles, which is approximately, what did I write down? 1.118 miles, but let's keep it exact. Okay, so D here is the square root of five over two miles.
Okay, so now let's do the calculus part of this. That was geometry. So now if we want to find the rate that this is changing, um, I probably should write all this stuff on here. So we know that, uh, back up, we know that dq dt is 4 miles per hour. Okay, so let's do this derivative. If you take the derivative of this, it's easier not to solve for d first. Let's just take the derivative where it stands. So the derivative of q squared is 2q, and then we need to say dq dt. And then the derivative of d squared is 2d. And then we need to multiply by d, d, dt. And then that equals 2 times, or the derivative of p squared, which is 2p times dp dt. Now, there's a 2 in everything. So if we divide everything by 2, these 2s go away. And that makes our life a little bit easier. And now we're just going to plug in numbers. Q we figured out is 1. And Q is changing at 4 miles an hour. And the distance between them at 15 minutes or a quarter of an hour is radical 5 over 2. And this is what we're looking for is the rate of change of the distance between them with respect to time. And then P, we figured out after 15 minutes, it's gone one, that person has gone 1.5 miles and he is, or she is still moving at six miles an hour. So now this becomes four plus square root of five, over 2 times the quantity we want, the change in the distance between them with respect to time, and 1.5 times 6 is 9. So now you subtract 4 from both sides and get that radical 5 over 2 times the change, the rate of change of the distance between them. So minus 4 minus 4 makes this 5. And then we want to isolate this because that's what we're looking for. So we multiply both sides by 2 over the square root of 5. Multiply this by 2 over the square root of 5. And after you rationalize the denominator, um, this becomes 2 times the square root of 5. And that's the rate at which this distance is changing. So that's miles Uh, full board. Here we go. That's miles per hour. And that's the answer.